I've got what I would call a medium sized fragrance haul for you. And I'm very excited to share this because I've got some really great ones and these are bargains. So I was on the bargain hunt again and found some great deals. So I'm really excited to share those with you. Before I jump into that, I have a little bit of a content warning. I've gotten a few slightly judgy comments lately on my haul videos. And so I just wanna provide a content warning. If you don't like hauls, then you should click out now because this is a haul. So I'm gonna be talking about perfumes that I purchased recently. These are all from FragranceNet. So FragranceNet has really great deals that are very exciting to me. And I have a hard time resisting them. In addition to being really good bargains, the other thing this haul kind of has going for it is beautiful bottles. All of these bottles today that I got, I think they're gorgeous. The first one I'm going to talk about is from the house of Lueve. I recently learned how to pronounce that because I featured this house in a video a long time ago and someone commented on my mispronunciation of it, so I did look it up. So the house of Lueve is a Spanish designer brand and this is called Aura and I am going to spray it on a strip. This is a gorgeous bottle. Unfortunately, this was a tester, so I don't have the cap, so it doesn't look quite as cool as it would with the cap, but that's okay. It's a really beautiful scent. I have smelled these um, and I like almost all of them. It's not a total hit, but this one is. I do like this one. It's got a slightly vintage vibe to me. It's fruity, it's floral, it's a little bit ambery, a little bit spicy. I really like it. It does remind me of some, I was just noticing this looks like almost leather here. Mm. So I really like this. It, it reminds me a little bit of Lady Stetson. I think it's got aldehydes maybe because it does give me that Lady Stetson vibe. I love Lady Stetson. It is a cheapie. If you want it, you will find it at the bottom shelf of your Walmart or CVS store, but it's beautiful. Um, and this is too. So again, this is Aura from Lueve. The next one I'm gonna talk about is from Montal and this is called Powder Flowers. I think this is a gorgeous bottle. I love the gold Montal bottle. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't really like this. It's extremely powdery. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I ordered this because of course, if it's called powder flowers, it's probably gonna be very powdery, but it's just like pure baby powder to me. So I'm not enjoying this, but I'm gonna try layering this with Ariana Grande Cloud and hope that that goes a little better. So, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna spray it right this moment because I sprayed it earlier, like I said, and yeah, it's just not my thing. Have you tried this? I would be really curious to hear if anyone's tried this because I, I, it's just not for me. But like I said, I'm hoping it will layer with some stuff because if it layers with stuff and it's wearable, I might keep it. If not, I might have to get rid of this because not my jam. This is from the house of Shariol and this is called Infinite Celtic. So I believe it's pronounced Celtic. That's the way my grandma, who is Irish, 100% Celtic, she always pronounced it Celt. So I'm going with that. I know that the Boston Celtics is pronounced Celtics, but I believe it's actually pronounced Celtic. But if you know for sure, let me know because that one I didn't look up, but this is gorgeous. And this is called Infinite Celtic. I really like this. So Shariol is a Swiss jeweler is my understanding. And this is really beautiful. Mm, I love this. So it's fruity. Mm, it's so, oh, and I love this bottle. This is, I think this is a gorgeous bottle. Um, so it reminds me of something also, but I'm not sure what, but it's it's got such beautiful fruits in it and florals and some spices. It seems a little more fall appropriate to me. If I had to pick a season, I'd probably go with fall, maybe spring, but it's so pretty and it's just like, very bright and beautiful. It's very familiar too. So I guess that happens when you try a lot of perfume, but I really like this. My first impression is very good. Have you tried this one? I've never heard of it, but these were really good deals on fragrance nets. So I'm going to be putting the prices up, of course, and this is gorgeous. And then I had some fun with the house of Molinard. Molinard is a French niche house. It's been around for a long time. And they have some beautiful perfumes. I've never tried Molinard up until now. They were having these deals on fragrance net that I had a hard time resisting. And I think the retail price of these Molinard, this is from the Les Element collection. And I believe their full price would be $75 around there. But I was getting these for $21 a piece. So this first one is called Vini Patchouli. And I love these bottles. I think these purple bottles are so beautiful. Love them. So vanilla patchouli is of course vanilla patchouli 
and I think it's really, really lovely. Hmm. So it almost gives me some chocolate, even though I don't think chocolate is a note, but of course I will put the notes up, but I almost get like a cacao or a chocolate or something, but this is like so delicious. It actually reminds me a little bit of Wicked Good from Gallagher. It's very beautiful. And I think this is going to be great for winter. Oh, look at that purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors and this is gorgeous. Mm. And then I got Vinny. Very heavy caps. <laughs> just dropped one. <laughs> this one is like a sweet, this is a much sweeter gourmand. You definitely get the patchouli in the vanille patchouli. This is sweet and gorgeous, mm. but it's not like a super bakery-esque type gourmand. It's much more layered and nuanced to me. Mm. So I really like this one too. And again, these caps and these bottles. Mm. So this is a pretty mid-range afford, I think fairly affordable niche house. And um, yeah, these are two and a half ounce bottles and they didn't come with a box. So they just came like this in bubble wrap. And, but that's okay. Cause I throw the boxes anyway. So this one's gorgeous. I love it. And I got the rose from Molinard. This one I'm not as crazy about cause it's very, it's a little bit soapy in a slightly old fashioned way. And it reminds me of some other things that I have. So I've got a lot of rose fragrances. I did a video on rose fragrances in my collection. This would not be one of my favorites. I might have to find a new home for this one, but it was a good deal. Like I said, it was $21 and it's not bad. It's just not my style, I think. So, so these were all blind buys, but these two are kind of regrets, especially this one. This one, yeah, these are both pretty much regrets, but look, oh my God, look how gorgeous they are. <gasps> Purple and gold. Okay, but these four, um, this one I love, this one I love, and then these two, the two Vani and Vani Patchouli from Molinard, very, very beautiful. So I would say all in all, it was well worth it, even though I have a couple of misses in here. And like I said, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna play with the powder flowers. Maybe I can make it work with something else. I feel like Ariana Grande Cloud might be the ticket, but if you have ideas, I would love to hear them down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and please subscribe. I would love to have you join me here. It's free and we have fun. So thanks. I'll see you soon.